Hi and hello everybody. Today in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you as to how you can fix the error 200279 in LabVIEW. So there are many reasons for uh, this, this error to occur. So the, one of the main and primary reason is buffer overflow. So first I'll explain to you as to what the problem is and then I'll uh, give the solution for that as well. So this is the error that I get. Okay, so what actually happens here is I'm now logging the data as continuous samples. You can see here the data logging acquisition mode is continuous samples. So when I set n number of samples, so the number of samples here doesn't matter as continuous data is being logged at the rate of 6 kilohertz or 6000 hertz. So what happens? This is the buffer size now. So the number of samples becomes the buffer size for the data logging and for your chart reading. So when we start run, running this interface, I have designed this interface with a nice uh, start and stop button for the DAC. So now what happens when I press start logging here, this opens a window for me to enter a file name. Say I type the name called test1 because test already exists and press ok. So what happens, the number of seconds that elapses for me to input the file name, so many samples is being missed in the buffer, around 2500 samples the buffer. I am logging at the rate of 6000 hertz here which means around 6000 samples per second. So when I take even a second to enter the uh, file name here, my buffer size overflows and hence I get this error. One possible way to fix this error is to increase the buffer size. Say if I take say what do I say like take four or five seconds to enter the file name so you multiply four or five into the rate in which you are logging 6000 6000 into four so I increase the buffer size by say around 30,000 this doesn't matter because actually what you are logging is only continuous samples this doesn't matter actually this is just the buffer size so now what I run the program here start the DAC this will take time because the buffer size is too huge so and then press the start log button now since that I have increased the buffer size the error doesn't appear and that too I took a very short while to enter the name of my file less than say 2 or 3 seconds. I have fixed the buffer size for around 5 seconds. Even though the graph here is low this doesn't matter because the only continuous data is being locked. I suggest an another way without increasing the buffer size. So stop logging, stop the DAC bring it back to the normal buffer size which I had previously set. Open up the interface and uh, write to measurement file here. In that remove ask user to choose file and then choose use next available file name so that it doesn't uh, rewrite again and again over, over a period of time. So this is already been set to write as test just in case if you already have a file name called test this will write it as test1, test2, test3, test4 so on and so forth so now this is done go to the front panel start running the interface start the DAC start logging so it's odd. it starts logging now without prompting the user for a file name hence there is no role for the buffer here Stop logging, stop the DAC, stop the interface, start the interface, 
start the DAC, start login. So now you see we have fixed this error 2279 that error is kind of fixed. There are only two ways to do it. Either you increase the number of samples or the buffer size if you are doing a continuous data or do not prompt the user to enter the file name. Let me just open up the data and show you the files here. So if you see I uh, there is already one file called test. So the second was stored as uh, test underscore one. Third one was stored as uh, test underscore two. See here data is logged without any error. So that's it guys. This is how you fix the DAC error or NA error 202279. I hope this was informative. If you feel so, please subscribe for more such videos. Thank you.